Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Aries. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of October 2019. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And it is as we start the month that we're still working with the energy of the new moon late last month. Now, I did speak about it then, but just to give you a little bit of a reminder, it is other people as you're starting this month that are coming into focus and healing your one-on-one -on -one alliances, understanding where it is that you're ready to begin again with certain people or maybe welcoming in new people as part of moving your life and your understanding forward. But the energy does change as energy does, and it is going to be in the middle of the month, right around the 13th, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, that we are going to have this month's full moon. Now, what makes this that much more meaningful for you is that this full moon is in your sign. Now, normally you get one full moon per sign per year, and so this is yours. And it is a time, generally, when we have a full moon in your own sign. Well, there can be a lot of emotion. It's a time of revealing, of accepting, of looking at your own emotional truth that you're finally ready to see or to acknowledge or to address. The difference now is the way in which this full moon is reaching out to other power players. What I'm very encouraged by is a harmonious connection that this full moon is making to Jupiter. That means there's a lot of hope. There's a sense that there's action you can take to expand your horizons and to move yourself in a more idealistic direction. It is at this full moon that you may find yourself becoming more philosophical and it is this philosophical attitude that will allow you to see that many more possibilities and to take steps, to take actions that ultimately bring that much more positive energy into your life. But there are other connections happening with this full moon, mainly Saturn and Pluto both are speaking with this full moon in your sign in connections of tension. And this is where uh, this energy on one level can feel a little tiring or a lot. It can feel like there's something you are really wanting to accomplish, whether it comes from a place of obligation and responsibility or a desire for genuine change. The motivation certainly is there, the drive, the, the focus. And it may be that you're pouring a lot of energy in a particular direction, perhaps towards a goal, given where Saturn and Pluto are but it's connecting very deeply, very personally. And so the important thing to remember with this energy is self-care. Self-care is first and foremost. Self-care is at the forefront with this. And it is at this time that if you find yourself giving so much and not having that sense of being replenished in the process, that can be a little reminder to you to take a bit of a step back and that there is a need there for you to, whether it's rest, whether it's to find balance, because this energy can, uh, can wear you out, in all honesty. It can be that the desire for change is so strong, is so on the surface, uh, the focus is so strong as well, that there are other factors that make for a balanced life and a happy you that are not necessarily being acknowledged. And so that's where that Jupiterian energy comes in. That is gonna be very helpful. Jupiter is, as we start this month, and it's really last, uh, part of a year-long transit through fellow fire sign Sagittarius. So you still have this wonderful energy you are working with that you're able to tap into right now. And so it is areas having to do with long distance travel, having to do with higher education, philosophy, legal matters, political matters. These are where the blessings find you. It is through these avenues that you are able to tap into that very spirit that's going to ensure that not only do you keep balance, but also keep joy as you move forward. And whatever it is that you're desiring to achieve, know that there is more than enough and that you have more than enough to see it through. But also the important lesson here is to do your best and surrender the rest, is to understand that you are gonna take so much action, you are gonna do so much, and there comes a point when you have to turn it over, where you have to know that it's gonna count for something in the fullness of time, sometimes immediately, sometimes not as immediately, but certainly in the fullness of time. Every effort does matter. And so you put that effort out there, 
and then you practice healthy surrender and focus on the areas where you're able to cultivate that spirit of optimism and you'll see yourself moving forward. Now, once we get to the later part of the month, it is right around uh, the 28th that we are going to have this month's new moon. Now, this new moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with a few different things. It has to do with your relationship with financial institutions. That's more on a mundane level. So it covers things like grants, loans, bursaries, insurance payments, tax returns, benefits you may qualify for. And it also has to do with on a more personal level, uh, it has to do with psychology, it has to do with regeneration and transformation on many different levels of your life. It has to do with personal honesty as well and where it is that you are owning your own awareness and your own ability to create meaningful change in your life. Now, what's happening with this new moon? Well, look, new moons are new opportunities, so that's great. New possibilities can open up here. But there's a few interesting things that are happening simultaneously. So one is that this new moon is standing across the sky from Uranus, and that brings in a surprise factor. That can bring new opportunities seemingly out of nowhere that leap you forward towards greater wealth on the one hand, but also towards your own personal realization, the kind that comes quickly and leaves you feeling changed in ways that last. But this is what astrologers call an opposition when a planet stands across the sky and they can go either way, meaning this can be, you know, remarkably wonderful, but it can also be a need to pay attention for you to have to look at something and to get honest with yourself. And so where it is that there is a financial matter or a matter related to a financial institution that maybe you need to look at, you need to address, you're going to get that opportunity to do just that. But I think in the balance of it, where it comes to these Uranus connections, ultimately they are about leaping us into the future. And the future is always a wise and more loving and more fortunate place. But here's something else to take into consideration as well. When we have such strong financial energy, it means that the money you need is there. You may need to do more or show up for it in some way, but the prosperity certainly is there because some of the learning is around prosperity. But what will be happening at this new moon is that we will have um, Mercury slowing down to a standstill and on Halloween day going retrograde and in this same part of the sky. And Mercury will be in this part of the sky from the very beginning of the month right into about the middle of December, an unusually long time. Next month is Mercury retrograde. Well, like I said, Mercury retrograde officially starts on Halloween. But this is going to be especially prominent in that whatever it feels that shows up, wherever it is that you realize uh, you are having awarenesses about yourself, about your life, and you're ready to change, wherever it is that you are gaining insights into, gaining understandings into, uh, a deepening awareness as to the wealth that is available in your life, well, chances are this is something that isn't going to be just addressed right away but rather that you'll be looking at more deeply. You'll be getting a deeper look, another look, a reconsideration as you navigate not only this month, but certainly forward from here. Now, where it comes to matters of love, a few things stand out to me. So one is the fact that late last month, we did have that new moon in your opposite sign. And again, I spoke about that last month, that love related energy you certainly are carrying in now. But that full moon is going to bring the focus on you. Once we have that full moon in the middle of the month, you are getting honest with yourself about how you might feel in relation to an emotional matter. And very often matters close to the heart do address matters of love. The other layer of this is that all that stuff I talked about with the new moon in the late part of the month and Mercury retrograde, that part of the sky, in addition to the things I mentioned, it also has to do with profound intimacy and vulnerability with another person. And so chances are where it comes to love, there's a desire to get to truth. There's a desire to get to what is real and where it is that you may feel that things are more superficial. It's just not going to work for you, especially with a month like this. If you are open to meeting someone new, remember that new moon uh, does say that someone tends to be there in the early part of the month 
for you to understand the lessons that only relating to another can provide. And so you're still working with that energy as you enter this month. But it is going to be mid-month that some truth of how you feel about where you are in matters of heart, perhaps someone that you're interested in, and where you are with that and why is going to come to the surface as part of your deeper consideration, as part of the changes that you are going through. As we get later into the month, it is very possible that you may connect with somebody, but that connection... Uh, it looks like there's a desire for deep vulnerability. There's a desire for intimacy and whether or not that potential is actually there, whether you want it to be there or not, is it actually there? That may be part of the consideration as we navigate late into the month. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, it is a powerful time. It very likely is in the first days of the month as you carry that energy of the new moon into this month that you are considering and contemplating the role of this person. There might have been increased intimacy with this person or at least uh, an increased emotional reveal taking place. But it is as we get to the middle of the month that you're ready to be more honest with yourself about what is going on here and whether or not it feels genuine. As much as you may have that hope there and that philosophical attitude there, if it is that this is something legitimate, um, it can feel like it solidifies at this time. If it is that it isn't, well, this is where you may make a more consequential choice. As we navigate towards the end of the month uh, with that second new moon, or with this month's new moon rather, uh, it is gonna be that new moon that's gonna ask you to be more vulnerable, to share more of yourself, and to feel as if this person is sharing more with you is gonna be part of your focus. Now, as you navigate forward from here, forward from this month, you'll be exploring that more deeply. For those of you in an established bond, sometimes that energy that's playing out at the end of the month can uh, actually play out in terms of your spouse's income. So there may be some changes or fluctuations there that you may want to be mindful of, but with Mercury going retrograde, some of those changes may be temporary, it is possible, or there may just be a need for some uh, negotiating or renegotiating as part of how it is that the two of you share. Now, what that part of the sky also has to do with is that sense of profound intimacy, is that sense of sharing more deeply with others. And it can be a time when, perhaps in very quick and surprising moments, uh, the two of you find yourselves learning more about each other in a way that ultimately can help the two of you leap together towards a stronger and more honest future. What I love about this month for you, it's got to be that full moon taking place right in the middle of the month. It is going to be an important time for you, a moment of honesty, a time of emotional strength and even some clarity. Now, that clarity is going to come about through cultivating intentional optimism and by considering all that there is for you uh, to focus on, to be excited about now and in your future. However, some of that awareness may come up through feeling things very deeply and personally and realizing at the core, what is it that is really essential? What is it that really matters? And when you find that answer, it'll be that much more meaningful to you because they will be answers that are truly your own. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.